This is Mike Morell for The Globe, from The Globe Studios. I'm with Be The Band. Now, Be The Band, that is Evan Crable on vocals, Evan Judson on keyboards and trumpet. I don't know. I don't see a trumpet. Are we not going to hear the trumpet uh, today? I don't know. Isaac Fisher on bass, the one and only, and Birch Bear on drums. Gentlemen, so you guys formed in 2021, if I'm reading this correctly. And my understanding is, uh, Isaac, you're the exclamation point in the band? Yes, I am. It's an upside down I. I see. So can, can you guys tell, uh, tell us a little bit about how the name B came about? Yeah, yes, so um, yeah. I was asked by Birch's band from high school and early college uh, footprints if you know, I wanted to throw something together to get a group together for a house concert, for a house show. And uh, yeah, I just I I really wanted to, and so I just asked Evan if we would be able to put something together really quickly if I wrote a couple songs in a week, and uh, asked Birch if he'd be willing to jump in on drums. That first concert was, you know, fine. It, it went okay, but we realized <laughs> that it was it was great to play together, and it was a ton of fun. And so we needed a name, and just thought that because Birch, Evan, and Evan spell out B, it was yeah, it was, it was a, a match what... made in heaven. And then Isaac comes along, and of course, I doesn't exactly fit in with the B, so you just turn him upside down, and we have ourselves an exclamation point. Exactly. It's yeah. amazing. All right. So, uh, you know what? Let's kick it off with uh, your first song. Uh, what song you got, you have up first for us here? This one's called My Honey. All right. Take it away. Sweet. Thank you. Frankly, I don't give a buzz about the money or the plans. I'll keep on walking if you walk by my side. Seems like most folks don't understand. They keep their mouths covered by their hands. They keep on talking. They know their tongues are tied. And well, you can call me mad, but I'm a product of my past. If that makes me crazy, and crazy is what I am. But then crazy comes in waves, read out like poems from a page. It's all a rhythm, the shifting of the sands. I love you, my friend, and I always will. You make 
Outstanding gentlemen. All right. Well, this is 91.1 The Globe, and I am with B, the band. I am Mike Morell. Uh, this is WGCS Goshen. Gentlemen, uh, that was outstanding. Um, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. So um, you mentioned starting out playing at friends' houses. Of course, you're playing some bigger venues these days. I mean, I was at the show that you guys did at Go Dance Studio. I mean, you might have remembered me running around with the camera up front there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, now you're a headliner playing uh, April 20th, Goshen Brewing Company. Uh, you've played G- uh, GBCO before, Elephant Bar, uh, East Cella. Well, what, uh, what's your favorite venue to play at? That's a good question. I don't have a firm opinion. Does anyone else have a, something super strong? I, I have really loved the Elephant Bar and Goshen Brewing Company shows. It brew, like, brings a, a cool like group of college students and then also kind of like the downtown restaurant bar scene together and just a cool mix mash of people that show up at those shows. Yeah, totally. I, I remember seeing really like loyal fan base you guys had. I mean, people dressed up as V's. I, mean, I even got some merch. I wore it today. Oh, no I mean, I'm, I'm representing. Yeah, that's so awesome. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't know if I'd be out of line by doing that, but I, I, I wanted to do that. So um, what's next for you guys? I mean, Soldier Field, is that, is that in your future? <laughs> I mean, really, what, what, what do you guys see as the future for this? Are you, you going to stay local? You want to take it on the road? We'd love to take it on the road at some point, you know, to see a little bit of the world, see the country. Using music as an avenue would be, it would be totally amazing. For sure. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely loved your show. I thought you guys did great. I got some more questions about that show in, in particular a little bit later. But uh, how about another song? How's that sound? Sounds good. Sounds what, great. What, what song's up next? This is uh, Where the Wild Things Are. Where the Wild Things Are. All right, take it away. That's where you'll find 
The Wild Things Are by B, live from the Goshen Studios here on the campus of Goshen College, 91.1 FM. Gentlemen, that was great. Thank you. Outstanding. Thanks so much. Yeah. So um, I was reading an article that was written in the record about you guys shortly after that con- the show, that the Go Dance show that you were talking, that we were talking about earlier. And it mentioned that you guys consider yourselves a combination of psychedelic rock mixed with jazz and pop rock. I personally loved your cover of uh, Fool on the Hill by the Beatles. So clearly you guys are influenced a little bit by the Beatles, I would say. But uh, who are your other bigger influences that you have? I mean, both at, uh, as a band and individually. That's a great, that is that a great is. question. I, I think like we, I think, draw a lot from our live shows, from like jam bands, bands like the Grateful Dead, Fish, Dave Matthews, in the sense where we'll like we'll have a structure for a song, and then we'll play, just we'll noodle around on it. We'll, co- we'll improvise. We'll come up with stuff. In terms of like artists, we draw our sound from. That's really hard. Um, you know, a lot of us we all play and have played in jazz bands before, but we all bring a lot of different you know, rock, pop, psychedelic, listening into into our playing. Okay. Any individual, I mean, any drummers that uh, you that draw your influence from? Ooh, my uh, my favorite drummer that I uh, I draw from is a guy named Brooks Wackerman. Okay. Pretty great name for a drummer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was born to be a drummer with a name like that. Yeah. So how about uh, the others? Uh, Isaac on bass. Any bassists that... Um yeah, I mean, obviously there's the classic Paul McCartney that I like to draw a lot of my bass lines from. And uh, one who's quite underrated, I'd say John Deacon is one of my bigger inspirations. The Queen fan. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Outstanding. And, and Evan on uh, keyboards and trumpet. I mean, any particular artists that you draw your influence from? Um, I don't mean to put you on the yeah. spot <laughs> like that, but. <laughs> uh, like, for trumpet i have a lot more jazz influences like chet baker um for like composition a lot of the beatles like will do like more orchestration on some songs i also listen to a lot of king gizzard and the lizard wizard so okay that's one of my main influences right now in just terms of sound and melody okay and evan how about you any influences for you yeah definitely the the jam band aspect like birch was saying it's like the grateful dead um and, and Goose, especially in terms of like energy and stuff like that. In terms of like lyricism and, and songwriting, I definitely draw from some some of the jam band stuff, but more from like the more from the Beatles or Bill Withers, kind of Phoebe Bridgers, trying to tell a story kind of through music is something that I do uh, at least attempt to do a lot. Yeah. Sure. One other question I have, uh, you you know, when I was at that show, I noticed I mean there's certain rituals that come with your shows. Uh, there was at one point you you the all of you kind of sat in a circle, and then the entire crowd sat, and then the next thing you know, the the only two people standing were those of us that were, st- were holding cameras. <laughs> so I, I, 
<laughs> uh, what, uh, explain that ritual to me, and uh, what, 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 where did that come from? That kind of just happened. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> yeah. entirely unplanned for, for Walking Shoes. Uh, is the song that everyone sat down to. And we were like, it'd be super cool, like, like for the music video from More Than Words, where, like, you know, the, the drummer and, like, the bassist kind of put their instruments down and they, like, go hang out on a couch or something. We were like, what if we tried to do something like that where you guys just, like, sat for the first little part and then everyone just sat. It was just the funniest. It was just the funniest thing. Yeah. Uh, it was absolutely wild, and I mean, it, you, it, it goes to show how much the crowd was totally into that show, and uh, it, it's outstanding how you definitely carried the show there. So uh, let's hear another song. What, what, what do you got up next for us here? This one's called uh, "Simulation Breaks." Simulation breaks. All right, take it away.
You're listening to B live in the studio at 91.1 The Globe. That was Simulation Breaks. Gentlemen, that was also fantastic, amazing. And you all play off of each other so well. I mean, you're always looking at each other as you're playing. It's, uh, I mean, as people are listening, I don't, they don't, I don't know if they can quite feel that, but being here in the studio, watching you interact with each other, it just, it, it really makes that. And I think, I remember seeing that when I saw you guys live um, at the Go Dance Studios. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so you just recorded the first of two albums, if I'm understanding this correctly. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. oh, so uh, do we have a title for this album yet? or? Ooh, can we announce it? Oh, yeah. It's uh, Ramen Swamp. Ramen Swamp, okay. Yeah. And it, it, it is the first of two albums, so another album is in the works. Is that correct as well? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So tell me about the process of recording the first album and talk us through it. Well, uh, our, uh, our manager, Abigail, who just graduated from Ball State in the spring, still has some connections down there with some people in the music department, and she uh, was able to get us into their really, really nice studio space and, and do a whole like recording session with, like, it, d it was just wild to experience what to me felt like, you know, a dream that was eons away, just to feel, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Sure. Yeah. Just so w was that in Muncie then, or was uh, okay? That's outstanding. So, yeah. uh, how, how long of a process was it to record an album? We did it in <laughs> it was a day, and then like two and a half hours the following morning. Wow! Yeah. So a day in like a day and a half. Yeah. 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 Less to record an entire album. How many songs or how many tracks are going to be on the album? Should be seven. Seven. Okay. Huh. When will it be released? Should be. Should be. Oh, <laughs> uh, we think sometime in the summer. Yeah. Right. That's, okay. Yeah. So it's still going through the process of getting it remixed and mastered, everything like that? Yeah. That oh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, anything else that you guys would like to plug? Any social media that you want to put out there for uh, our listeners or anything else? Any, sh any shows? I mean, I mentioned the 20th of uh, April at uh, the Goshen Brewing Company. You guys are going to be headlighting that? So that was this last April. Oh, okay. We're playing 17th of May. 17th of May. Okay. Yes. So I had that, I had that, I had that back, backwards here. So it's all good. 17 May. But you are headlining at GBCO 17 May. Yeah. Yes, sir. A anything else that you guys want to put out there? We'll also be playing First Fridays for, uh, I think, for Arbor Day on the 5th of May. F fantastic. So lots of May. I will tell you, I, I mean, being here, I eat. I'm going to be in Japan in May, unfortunately, <laughs> so I'm going to miss both of those. I say unfortunately. I'm looking no. forward to going oh, to yeah. Japan. Yeah. Dang yeah, it, I'm going awesome. to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it, for the listeners out there, it, it, it's truly something to be seen is to watch them interact with each other live in concert. So you should absolutely see it. So, gentlemen, I'm gonna, I want to thank you for being with us this afternoon. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm going to have you guys play us out. What, what song are you going to finish with? Yeah, this one's called Dandelion Man. It's a new one. haven't played it before. Awesome. Dandelion Man. Take it away. Yeah. True. Yeah. Instagram B dot the dot band. <laughs>
Fine. 